glass. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's just bring it around. Yeah. <laughs> Like right I just have, I have a, a file of just cool words. And then I kind of crank it down together. Legs, right? See which ones. Are you live now? Oh, you are? We're live, we're live. All right, we're live, and I'll kind of explain really. Hi, guys. Explain what's going on here. This is that in-between oh, time. So we just finished shooting La Muerta Kickstarter for La Muerta Ascension, which we'll offer on Kickstarter as a campaign in May. And now we're getting ready to, we've reset. Got a new shirt on, a new get up, and I'm ready to start doing Lady Death Chapter 10, which is Lady Death's August Kickstarter called Blasphemy Anthem. And the guys are changing the backdrop and all. And then over here is kind of my cue cards. I'll actually, let me practice a cue card with you live, because it seems like I'm, I'm pretty on point when I'm live. I'm less on point. So, hello everybody, this is Brian Polito, creator of Lady Death. And we are back to rock you with an all new chapter in Lady Death's Undead Life. An all new 48 page graphic novel entitled Lady Death Blasphemy Anthem. Hey, maybe we should just keep going live. Helping me bring this next chapter to life is co writer Mike McLean, illustrator Diego Bernard, colorist Cece De La Cruz, and veteran letterer Marshall Dillon. Yep, yeah, it's like, plus we've assembled an amazing, what was it? We've, no, just this guy right plus we've assembled, plus some, we've like assembled like, some yeah, of the most so incredible so cover artists on the planet to melt your face. That one actually looks okay. So, <laughs> so yeah, I, I gotta, what are you gonna do? I need cue cards. When well, I'm usually doing Facebook Live, I'm not doing cue cards. Actually, over here you can see there's even more. Like all cues for all the different things that we're doing, whatever. But anyway, the guys are just sorting out the lighting over here. I guess we'll go live again, figuring out. You know, Steve Roy is watching. Steve, how you, Steve, how you been, man? Great seeing you at Fiend Fest. I hope you had a blast there. We had a blast doing it. There's Brandy snapping photos over here. Nick way in the background. We're multitasking. We got Anna. She's watching. Cue cards are difficult, she says. They are, yeah. Hey, hey, Jimmy, for fun, can you go all the way back and like show the whole setup? Let's grab that other arm. So I'd be like, hello everybody, this is Brian Pluto, creator of Lady Death, and I, we're about to rock you with the next chapter in Lady Death's Undead Life, an all new 48 page original graphic novel entitled Lady Death Blasphemy Anthem. And then I go into the next queue, which luckily is a voiceover, and I get to explain the story. And then I come back and say, help me bring this next chapter to life, is co-writer Mike McLean, illustrator Diego Bernard, colorist Cece De La Cruz, and veteran letterer Marshall Dillon. And then another, my next cue is, plus we've assembled some of the most incredible artists on the planet to thrill and tantalize you. Yeah, but Augie's I, digging the beard. Oh, right on, man. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Augie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Brandy <laughs> likes it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the thing about the beard I'm adjusting to, and probably Jimmy could help, to, is, you know, after a meal, just making sure it's, everything's out of the <laughs> yes, way. Yes, this is true. It's new. <laughs> that part is new. <laughs> As an Italian, I understand. Yeah, that's it. Just do the wipey wipe. What are you going to do? Yep, so yeah, we're getting ready here at HQ. We've actually turned the pick area into a studio for the day. Well, and the guys are setting up the equipment. There's some things going on. Yeah, we'll shoot this stuff, and then obviously we intercut it with cutaways. Um, here's Lady Death on deck, and the next one we're going to shoot is for the next Hell Witch. The cool thing about that one is okay, so we actually have a green we screen because we're gonna. I think we're gonna put like fire effects all over the yeah. place on that one. And then if you and stick around later in the day, we're gonna start a somewhere. shoot for, yeah. for uh, an upcoming yeah. project called the Lady Death Majestic Statue Series. So you'll see how we're gonna photograph that as well today. Yeah, and uh, and we I mean, it's what 1220. I think we're about 40 minutes behind. That's life. We're gonna stop for a meal and then get back in. That kind of stuff. Let me try it again. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. This is Brian Plato, creator of Lady Death. We are back to rock you with the next chapter in Lady Death's Undead Life, an all-new 48-page original graphic novel entitled Lady Death Blasphemy Anthem. So that's the next story. It's called Blasphemy Anthem. Help me bring this next chapter to life. Okay, I feel like I got this one. And what's my next cue on this? My next cue goes something like, and here's the thing, these projects are done. We just gotta print, but we need your help to bring Lady Death to life. And that, that's the crazy thing. So here as we sit, what, end of March, when I'm saying that the project is done, Diego Bernard is working on the very last pages this weekend. So I am letting you know we are ahead of the game. It's 
super exciting getting those pages in. And then myself and Mike McLean actually began the series of meetings to work on the two Lady Death storylines for 2020. So currently chaptered, uh, currently chaptered what, uh, uh, 11, uh, 10, 11 and 12 next year. <laughs> we started working on those. And there's Adam Goldfein. Adam, would you mind, as you work, explaining to people out there what you're working on? Like, what, what are you thinking when you're, what are you doing? So right now what we're doing is we're just balancing out the lighting because we want to see the uh, Coffin Comics background nicely. And uh, being a vinyl surface, it also tends yeah, sorry. to... That's okay. That's just part of, uh, part of what we do. So being a vinyl surface, it reflects a lot of light and you don't want to see the lights or the source of the light reflected in the in the uh, Coffin comic. So one of our light bulbs is actually giving us a little bit of trouble right now. So we are, Ruben is over there doing some trouble shooting to try to get it working and uh, get a nice glow on the background that looks pleasing and uh, is not distracting from our main attraction, Mr. Brian Polito. Woo! Wow! <laughs> Oh, there we go. Lights on. Friday, Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Friday, Friday. <laughs> we got one little flap there hanging down off the... Uh, oh, this thing? Oh, there we go. Sorry. I'll That's stay okay. out of it. Don't touch the thing. Don't touch the Don't thing. Don't touch my thing. Well... Uh-oh. HR moment already. It's a, he's a freelancer. <laughs> Bring it up. This is true. Doesn't matter that I've known him for 40... Don't date yourself. Don't date yourself. Five. 45 years. 40, yep, 45 years. Fucking scary. I, I am completely dated. I am uh, 57.5. I don't like it. Uh, I version 5.7. <laughs> but I want to live forever. Yeah. You will. Okay. If I can download my essence. You guys see me like I'll be zipping in a coffin, in and out, and all that stuff. But I, I, mean, I want to live forever, man. I remember I, I got in this coffin at some event and I was happy to be there and people were so Punch many, that uh, ball behind me there. Okay, sorry about that. And so many people were just sort of bugging out, like, how could you do that? Like where do you, are you okay with getting in a coffin, Ruben, or are you like no effing way? I would love to sleep in a coffin. Oh see, okay, he would. He's a vampire too. Brandy over here is like, no, no, no. Too claustrophobic. Well look, I mean we're all heading towards it, man. Nobody gets out of here alive. Listen. Yeah. Sorry. I was living forever. Okay, I I'd like to. When I was a kid I used to sleep underneath my bed. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> so you were the monster under the bed. Yeah, that's I was a true monster. Story. Let's push in just a hair. Let's do that. There we go. Okay, that'll solve some of our problems. Yeah. Oh, whoops. You want, you want me to come up on this a little bit? That's yeah, fine. I, I should, um, that, that one I should have. Okay, okay let me see you on your mark line. there for a minute. Yes, sir. On my mark. Thank you very much. Let's make sure the camera is level. Yeah, so my eye yeah. doesn't look level. Also, I'm going to move that right one kept messing with this one. Let me check the way. Yeah. Let me just, uh, let's see what's going on here. Feel different. Yeah. So I also wouldn't be the ceaseless promoter if I didn't mention that today, it's actually seven days left to back the current Lady Death Scorched Earth Kickstarter campaign. Right now we've unlocked 675 stretch goals. There we go. And so the, the physical comic is about that big, but everyone also gets a palette uh, stretch goals. I'm totally kidding. That's not true. Don't take my word at it. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Like 2,000 pallets. But uh, yeah, Whoa. it's the last seven days. Are there any surprises left? I don't know. Has anybody wanted to back it but hasn't? Uh, is there anyone that you know out there that you could suggest to back it? Do you know any lapsed uh, Polito, this kind okay, of stuff, fans? This little piece right here. We're still, still kind of yeah, bugging yeah. us. We can, we do something to kind so of. So yeah, please consider that. backing us today. Is today payday? I don't know. Whoa. If it is payday, yeah. consider. Although I must point out to you that uh, on the Kickstarter campaigns, your card is not charged until the end of the campaign. And the end of the campaign is going to be April 5th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So while it seems like you have some time, I also would point out that a lot of things are selling out. With film, it's crazy. It would be great if it, you know, if it was just a matter of me being ready. I'm quasi-ready. I don't know how actors do it, like all that, all the dialogue they have to remember. All right, here's one other slight issue. Yes, sir. So I think the backdrop is a little tilted. Uh, it's not parallel. It's not parallel yeah, it needs to, to go my, up. Yeah, it looks okay. like the right side is a little low. Yeah, it's definitely a little low. So it's okay, I'll get that. Look at a little funny go in the camera. What's other side? Nope. No, I'm trying this because I was trying to. Get the... oh.
Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> we let them, we let them, them express their skills. It's true. <laughs> That's what they're here to right do. Right there. Uh, Stepping out. Come down just a hair. Coming down. A little bit. So here's the story for Blasphemy Anthem. I don't okay. know. Uh, do a little still. That's the story. Oh, sorry, Maybe back, we'll go. We'll be live when I get to that point. What I usually do is, uh, you know, the story's got a certain tempo and tenor telling it. And we usually cut it to like pages and uh, panels from the story. Um, yeah, and like I said, it's amazing. Like I think Diego's just got a couple pages left, and then we start going to color, and we are already neck deep into planning for 2020, which is fun. So. We like doing these on Fridays because, you know, look, it's it's not entirely easy. Facebook Live is a lot easier, but, like, cue cards, being on your mark and all that stuff. Oh, uh, sure although I've shot 15 yeah, videos, it, you know, it's still a certain amount of, uh, you're kind of on. So it's great to, by the end of the day, have a win, then we can just go out and, like, rock I mean, out the weekend. Uh, we can straighten out that, that uh, where it's clipped. Stuff's still happening. Here. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I mean, this is, each cue is sizable, but you could see that it would be so much more beneficial like with the studios, they're just bigger. Like having something four or five times the size just gives you the freedom to kind of move around, do what you got to do. Yeah, I did call. There's that um, something big studio yeah. up in Scottsdale. Yeah. They were, like they're, even their insert Sticky. stage, sneaky big. Yeah, their insert stage was fourteen hundred bucks a day. I was like, yeah, stuff's real. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> no, I get it. It's and and look, you know, I get it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got Dave Long watching, Simon, Axtell watching. Hey, folks, how you doing? Steve uh, what's up? If you have any questions before, like, while the technicians, you know, do stuff, happy to answer anything. Um, yeah, we're pretty, like, we're in really good shape on Scorched Earth. We have, you know, we've made some estimates of print runs, and we're starting to go to, starting to go to press on some things. Let me ask you a question. Sorry. Yes, of course. This cross piece, does it expand out at all, or is that? That's it. That's, that's all we got, I'm okay. sorry to say. That's okay. Yeah, that's what we got. Six by, yeah, six by nine is all we have. If you want to go to a simpler backdrop, we could do that too. So we no, had. We no, had, we'll make it work. All right, um, we're making it work. It's just a problem to solve. Problem um, to solve. What was I yapping about? Yeah. I don't know. Scorched earth. So yeah, we're in really good shape. So I know that even right now in another part of uh, HQ, a team of Coffin Crew members are assembling the mystery envelopes. Isn't that right, Brandy? It's true. It's cool. And so, yeah, we have a number of things that we call them fixed print runs. So with the mystery envelopes being 666 copies, we know what the additions are and how much they are. So we can actually go to print on those. It's the things like the actual, let's say the main Kickstarter edition, the homage edition, the jewel, the hall of foil, the naughty. We can't go to print until the absolute end because uh, we don't know what the print run's going to be. And then we go to print on those. Actually, I think where it is is... Josh is asking about his arch fiend patch. He said he, he needs to see that on your. Uh, You're right. Like today, I'm, I'm rocking the sworn. But like uh, yeah, I got to bring it. It's actually on another one that's at home. And thank you. I do have it. <laughs> uh, Jason Johnson is asking, will you be offering any more original art pages in the Lady Def store anytime soon? Um, I. That's a good question. I. What I. I could address it in a roundabout kind of way. For Lady Def, uh, I don't see that short term. However, we do have the La Muerta Ascension Kickstarter coming up and it will be filled with original art. Joel Gomez and I actually had a meeting this week and we conspired and our what's kind of fun is our um, our launch party event will actually be a gallery showing of all of Joel's pages. Kind of a different tonality than our Lady Death launches which are like, you know, rock and rock until you drop parties and this one will be kind of like an upscale gallery and we really get to know Joel we're actually gonna have Joel out here to HQ uh, Mike uh, will be out and Q&A's and show a lot of art and then the Kickstarter itself is just gonna have a, a slew of art in fact I mean as in the next couple of weeks you're gonna get a lot more information about the La Muerta which has actually been done for some time so that's La Muerta chapter 5 Ascension um, we have a really incredible cover artist on that one and uh, it's a returning team of Mike McLean, Joel Gomez, CC De La Cruz, and veteran letter, Marshall Dillon, the bedrock. <laughs> the owner is asking, will Ravenheart get in an original book? Um, you know, it's right. the, the round... We live with it. Okay, we're going to live with it. So the roundabout way that I could answer it is, I don't have plans for him to have an uh, original book, but to answer, is Ravenheart coming back in any which way or form, you got to tune in in 2021. Um, 
because that will answer that question. I mean, now we're in this era where we do two, with Leda, we do like two 48 pages, that's about 100 pages a year. Okay, shoot, I'm on. Well, we can stay live while we give this First a try. Positions? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, very quiet, Nick, here we go. All right, do we have a slate? We'll get a slate. Uh oh, I gotta do this. <laughs> All right, how's your position? Get my head in the game. Uh, scoot this back there a little bit. Make yeah, it's cool. A little more island friendly. You want this a little higher? Uh, no, okay. I'm not relying on that one too heavily. Okay. Thank you for asking. Okay. Right what's, this one 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 cool. what's this one called? All right. Uh, this one is called uh, L D B A, Lady Death Blasphemy Anthem. Peaking nature friendly. That's a lot to spell, so I'm just going to put Yeah, just I go B-A. And uh, just mm, lean on your left foot a little bit more. That, uh, see what's happening? Ruben, on that left side, it's still curling in a bit. So yeah. It's giving us a little bit of a funkadelic. Do you want to go tighter on me just to circumvent that problem? We can do that. Um, no, I think we're good. I think we'll just... Uh, okay, cool. Problems to solve. Yeah, we already went a bit tighter, so it wouldn't... Okay, got it. Going tighter. And now, like, you're... We're now about here. Okay, cool. So I'll, I'll do all my hand movements up here. I'm only being seen from up here, so I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> T-Rex arms. Yeah, T-Rex <laughs> arms. Whatever you're doing is good. <laughs> Just do that the whole time. Uh, uh, Ruben, that is. Oh. Though I know you can't be standing there the whole time. Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right, walk away. Damn, son. C-47s do the trick. Do you call them that? Yeah. C-47s yeah. are the little little line item on the little grip forms for clothespins. Right. Or pegs, as they call them in London. What's fun about getting together and doing a shoot day here at Coffin Comics and shooting our Kickstarter videos and series is, like, a lot of us are very project-based kind of people. Like, our transactions or our friendships are based kind of project-y. Because I'm always on a project, I don't know about you, so like Ruben and I, we go back, Adam and I go back years, and it's fun. this is like a great quote-unquote excuse for us to get together. It's a party. It's, it's kind of a party to us. Because, party with camera and lighting. Yeah, exactly. And it's not exactly work, it's like an expression of a skill. And, you know, again, I'm, a, I'm the old, like, you know, when I grew up, I wanted to be Steven Spielberg, and uh, this is like a small expression. <laughs> anyway. All right, whoops, we put the right headphones in. I think I want not, let me take that back. I, I actually came to love Steven Spielberg later in life. I think I really always wanted to be George Romero, let's be honest. <laughs> Truthfully. That's I mean, Romero, rest in peace, man. All right. Okay. Slate in. I'm ready. Okay. Camera is rolling. Call the slate. Lady Death, that's ba blasphemy. Ba blasphemy anthem. Thank you. Take one. All right. And camera set. Hello everybody, this is Brian Polito, creator of Lady Death, publisher of Coffin Comics, and we are back to rock your world with an all new chapter in Lady Death's Undead Life. An all new 48 page graphic novel entitled Lady Death Blasphemy Anthem. Hello everybody, this is Brian Polito, creator of Lady Death, and we are back with an all new, whoops, Hello everybody, this is Brian Polito, creator of Lady Death, publisher of Coffin Comics, and we are back to rock your world with an all new chapter in Lady Death's Undead Life. An all new 48 page original graphic novel entitled Lady Death Blasphemy Anthem. Get another one. What's up everybody? It's her oh, fun, I gotta remember fun. Instead of like, you know, this is me Slayer. <laughs> no Slayer, more fun. Hey everybody, it's your boy Brian Polito, and we are back with an all, hey, whoops, fuck, pardon me, Facebook. <laughs> I'll just note that I liked the first two, so. Hello everybody, this is Brian Polito, creator of Lady Death, publisher of Coffin Comics, and we are back to rock your world with an all new 48 page original graphic novel starring the diva of death in Lady Death Blasphemy Anthem. You good? You like those? Yep. All right, cool. So I'm going to move on to the next cue, but let's keep rolling. We're going to roll. Helping me bring this next chapter to life is co-writer Mike McLean, illustrator Diego Bernard, colorist Cece De La Cruz, and veteran letter Marshall Dillon. And 
We have a slew of incredible cover artists that will melt your face. I'm gonna do that as another cue. All right, so doing that cue again. Helping me bring this next chapter to life is co-writer Mike McLean, illustrator Diego Bernard, colorist Cece De La Cruz, and veteran letterer Marshall Dillon. Jimmy Cobb, you like those? Yep. Do you want one with more fun? Yeah, intense fun. Intense fun. Let's do it. Help me bring this next chapter to life is co-writer Mike McLean, illustrator Diego Bernard, colorist Cece De La Cruz, and veteran letterer Marshall Dillon. That's good. You liking it? All right, cool. I'm going to use this as the next cue. Okay, so the next cue is, plus we've assembled some of the most incredible cover artists on the planet. Okay. Hold on, just give me a second. Yep. Sorry, can we just cut for a second? Okay, we're going to cut. Make a couple little adjustments here. But we're still live, I think, so plus we've assembled yep. some of the most incredible cover artists on the planet to thrill and tantalize you. And then i got to go on to the next cue. And here's the thing. These projects are done. I don't know with you guys out there live if this looks is like watching paint dry because ultimately, you know, you're seeing all the mess ups, this, that, and the other, and then we're going to chop, chop, chop until it just becomes forged into this hundred second. Ruben, let's just push in this bounce a little bit. Little Check thing. <laughs> okay, let me just see on the mark there. Yep. There yes, sir. There we go. Can we get a little more front there? And so what Adam's working on with Ruben is just you know, making sure the lighting, this is all beauty lighting for a man that's 57 years old. <laughs> right now you're in the shot. Yeah, let me just, okay. just sort it out. Thank you. Kirk Lane says it's looking good, Brian. Thanks, Kirk, man. Having fun doing it today. It's fun. We get to break for a meal at 1 o'clock, then we come back in. We'll finish anything that we didn't from this section. And then in the afternoon here, we're going to start working on photographing the next project, which is the Lady Death Majestic Statue Series. Let me see, look at the camera. Yes, sir. Okay, yep. Like it? It is good. Okay. All right. Slide in. What did it just say? <laughs> sure. Roll camera. Okay. Get slight focus on that. Camera speed, call slate. Blasphemy anthem take two. Hold on, we get the right headphones in. Cool. Gotta take these <laughs> off because I do that all the time. We can do it. Okay. It's a oh. good thing no one's watching us do this. <laughs> okay, pull the no slate. No okay, judging. pull the slate. That's a take two, but we're going to start working on ladder Q3. Here we go. Okay, and camera set. Plus, we've assembled. Plus, we've assembled some of the most incredible cover artists on the planet to thrill and tantalize you. Plus, we've assembled some of the most incredible cover artists on the planet to thrill and tantalize you. Plus, we've assembled some of the most incredible cover artists on the planet to thrill and tantalize you. Plus, we've assembled some of the most incredible cover talent on the planet to thrill and tantalize you. Let's keep rolling. I'm going to jump to the next cue. Jimmy, was that okay for you? If you want to do it one more time with fun, I wouldn't have a problem with fun. that. Fun. Got to be reminded about fun. I get all serious and significant <laughs> about shit. Plus, we've assembled some of the most... Plus, we've assembled some of the most incredible cover artists on the planet to thrill and tantalize you. Plus we've, we, plus, we've assembled some of the most incredible cover artists on the planet to thrill and tantalize you. Plus, we've assembled some of the most incredible cover talent on the planet to thrill and tantalize you. Good. Jimmy likes it? Yeah. We move on. So what we're hoping, folks, is one of those is useful. Now, moving on. Pulling back the curtain on the coffin uh, behind-the-scenes video. Making sure the... Uh, <laughs> you gotta make sure this is new to me <laughs> hey quiet on the set I do that too okay oh thank you yes. uh, all right. I'm Italian 
All right, here we go. So uh, Q4. And here's the thing. And here's the thing. These projects are done. All we got to do is print. But there is no doubt that we need your help to make this happen and bring Lady Death to life. And here's the thing, these projects are done. All we gotta do is print, but there is no doubt that we need your help to bring Lady Death to life. Please pledge now. We are honored and we are grateful and I am full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I am honored and I am grateful, but I'm so full of shit right now, come on. <laughs> yeah, don't get that twisted. I am, uh, I'm not being authentic, that's what I'm trying to communicate. I'm not, I am grateful and I just gotta be present to being grateful. <laughs> And here's the thing, these projects are done. All we gotta do is print, but there is no doubt that we need your help to make this happen. Please pledge now. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell everybody you know that Lady Death is back and get on the crazy train. Thank you so much, everybody. You people are amazing and we thank you and we are eternally grateful. Because of you, Coffin Comics lives. Lady Death for life. One more time, but on your mark, please. Fuck. It's okay. I liked that one. You were in the neighborhood. I know. I was like, oh. I was like, what the fuck's going on here? <sighs> okay. And here's the thing. All these pro. And here's the thing. These projects are done. All we gotta do is print. But we need your help to make it happen. Please pledge now and tell everyone you know. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies that Lady Death is back. Please. Okay. <laughs> I can do it. And here's the thing, these projects are done. All we gotta do is print. But I, blah, 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 blah. Here's the thing, these projects are done. All we gotta do is print, but there is no doubt that we need your help to make it happen. Please pledge now. Tell everyone that Lady Death is back. Thank you so much, everybody. Without you, we ain't nothing. Thank you. How's that, one more. One more. One more, okay. I feel like I'm being watched. Which is true. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no judgment. No judgment. And here's the thing. These projects are done. All we gotta do is print, but there is no doubt that we need your help to bring Lady Death to life. Please pledge now. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell everyone that Lady Death is back and encourage them to jump on this crazy train. Thank you so much, everybody. You guys rock and you guys rule. Okay. Um, one more? <laughs> sure. So you want to Go get more it. of the fun intense? Let's fun intense. It seems like the intensity wasn't uh, Wasn't there? A little bit more, yeah. A little more. Okay, fun and intensity. Just scoot over here to your right. You're getting off your mark there a bit. Damn, I'm getting off my mark. It's okay. And here's the thing. These projects are done. All we got to do is print, but there is no doubt that we need your help to make it happen. Please pledge now and tell everyone that Lady Death is back. Thank you so much, everybody. It's because of you that Coffin Comics lives. We really appreciate it. Talk soon. Peace out. Something like that. But here's yeah. We cannot. Th blah, blah, blah. I'm good with that. Yeah, yeah, I think you got something out of it. Okay, cool. So now we should um, jump okay. and do the story queue. And we can stay live if people want to get an insight on the story. Okay. Yes, let's, uh, let's cut. Yes. Okay. Thank you. It's up to Nick. Make me pretty, man. Make me sound reasonable. No, you don't. <laughs> so, folks, this is the uh, pure unvarnished showing you exactly how it's done. Um, I wish I could tell you that I'm very polished with Facebook Live, but when it comes to cues and scripts, you know, you see the struggle. The struggle is real. The great news is that... Um, Nick G will pick out the, the ones where I don't mess up as much. And before you know it, it looks like I know exactly what I'm talking about. But I thought it was cool for you guys to see this whole thing, warts and all. Uh, but I'm going to keep kicking this light. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, get the cue. And if you guys and gals, sorry. If you guys and gals out there want to, you can listen to the story of Blasphemy Anthem. Sorry, man. So I am ready, Adam, when you are ready okay. to record the voiceover. Keep the talent happy. <laughs> <laughs> and then once 
This piece is done. We just do a reset with the green screen. Hopefully that'll be easier. Yep. I don't know. I can't promise it'll be easier, but that's fair. Green but screens but are we will do it. <laughs> What's that? Green screens are a pain in the ass. <laughs> that's true. And look, if green screen is a pain, we can just pick another backdrop. That's fine. We'll, do, we'll, we'll make it work. Right? So, Nick G. Yes. I don't mean to. So, for the Hell Witch Kickstarter, we are going to use a green screen, and I'm hoping that we can just do like flames and shit in the backdrop. Yeah, that's not a problem. All right, cool. Oh, well, your matting skills. He's the man. Yeah, you do mats. Okay, good. All right, uh, so we're going to recording sound only. Sound only. Okay, let me uh, hang on. Let me get some levels here. So, go ahead and read as you will be reading it. In the wake of the tragic events revealed in Lady Death's scorched earth. The extinct, extinction level villainy of the Trinity threatens humanity. Uh, the Halo Corporation threatens Lady Death, and the Hellborn sect appear to be the puppet masters behind it all. Okay, good. Let's do it. All right, you guys ready? You're getting a little uh, okay. advanced on the. Well, look, Scorched Earth hasn't come out. You got to read that. <laughs> I don't think I give away too too much, but you're you're gonna learn something today when I tell you this story. Okay. Uh, Ruben, do you want to slate this? Let's slate it, and so it, it'll be, uh, I guess, you know, Blasphemy Anthem 3. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're introducing a new character in this one. Should we shut it off? No, I think we, what do you think? I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you want to get an inside scoop, or would you rather not know? By your votes, we'll decide whether we're staying live or we're shutting down. Three, two, one. <laughs> I see Robert said yes, yes on that one. Robert said yes. Okay, cool, man. So, Robert, I think because of you, we're going to stay live. All right. Okay. Ready? All right, rolling camera and call the slate. The slate is Blasphemy Anthem Q3. And action. In the wake of the tragic events revealed in Lady Death's Scorched Earth, the extinction-level villainy of the Trinity threatens humanity, the Halo Corporation threatens Lady Death, and the Hellborn sect appear to be the puppet masters behind it all. To, to, defeat, to defeat these threats for once and for all, the Sworn, a group of supernatural anti-heroes, are assembled. The Sworn, led by the shape-changing werewoman Steelheart, Michael, the warrior Archangel, Wargoth of the Everkind, Zack and Zane Xander, supernatural exterminators extraordinaire, the mysterious supreme sorcerer, Mr. Atticus Marrow, Lady Death's children, witch in training, Chaotica Dark, Dimension Jumper, Hellslinger, and introducing Lady Satanus, the devil's daughter. What is Lady Death's role in all of this? Is she an ally or an enemy of the sworn? It all comes down to this, and in the end, Lady Death is irrevocably changed forever. I promise this one is gonna be epic. All right, take two. We're going to do it again. Good. Try to stay right in that mic and just get... Yeah, yeah, up, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you want me to raise it a bit? Nah. Okay. Yeah, I kind of feel like Phil from Pantera. Okay, do it. Come in the go. wake of the tragic events revealed in Lady Death's Scorched Earth, the extent... In the... <clears throat> in the wake of the events... In the wake of the events revealed... In the wake... I could do it. In the wake of... In the wake... Woo! In the wake of the tragic events revealed in Lady Death's Scorched Earth, the extinction-level villainy of the Trinity threatens humanity. The Halo Corporation threatens Lady Death. And the Hellborn sect appear to be the puppet masters behind it all. I'm trying it again. In the wake of the tragic events revealed in Lady Death's Scorched Earth, the extinction-level villainy of the Trinity threatens humanity. The Halo Corporation threatens Lady Death. And the Hellborn sect appear to be the puppet masters behind it all. To defeat these threats for once and for all, the Sworn, a group of supernatural anti-heroes, are assembled. The Sworn, led by the shape-changing werewoman Steelheart, Michael, the warrior archangel, Wargoth of the Everkind, Zack and Zane Xander, supernatural exterminators extraordinaire, the mysterious supreme sorcerer, Mr. Atticus Marrow, Lady Death's children, witch in training, Chaotica Dark, Dimension Jumper, Hellslinger, and introducing Lady Satanus, the devil's daughter. What is Lady Death's role in all of this? Is she an ally or an enemy of the sworn? It all comes down to this, and in the end, Lady Death is irrevocably changed forever. I promise this one is gonna be epic. Jimmy Calvary's good. Yeah. One more. 
Or are we if good? You, if you got one, another one in you. Okay, let's do another one. In the wake of the tragic events revealed in Lady Death's scorched earth, the extinction level villainy of the Trinity threatens humanity. The Halo Corporation threatens Lady Death, and the Hellborn sect appear to be the puppet masters behind it all. To defeat these threats for once and for all, the Sworn, a group of supernatural antiheroes, are assembled. The Sworn, led by the shape changing werewoman Steelheart. Michael, the Ark. The, the Sworn, led by the shape changing warrior woman. <clears throat> The Sworn, led by the shape-changing werewoman Steelheart, Michael, the Archangel, Wargoth of the Everkind, Zack and Zane Xander, supernatural exterminators extraordinaire, the mysterious supreme sorcerer, Mr. Atticus Marrow, Lady Death's children, witch in training, Chaotica Dark, Dimension Jumper, Hellslinger, and introducing Lady Satanus, the Devil's Daughter. What is Lady Death's role in all of this? Is she an ally or is she an enemy of the Sworn? It all comes down to this, and in the end, Lady Death is irrevocably changed forever. I promise, this one is going to be epic. I think we got it. Yep. All right, we'll do a cut on that. We'll bring up right. the house lights, and we're going to switch over to our next Kickstarter video, which is Hell Witch. So for now, you guys have been great. We're going to catch up with you soon. Thank you so much, everybody. And we're going to green screen? And we're going to green screen. Right. Thanks. I'm going to power down for a moment.